Hi, I'm Larry Stewart. I'm editor with 4constructionpros.com. I'm at World of Concrete in Las Vegas uh, in the Gomeco booth with Kevin Klein, who's vice president of uh, engineering, research, and development, uh, talking about the GP2400 that the company's introducing here. Uh, Kevin, why don't you tell us about some of the most important features of the machine, and uh, we'll talk about how what that means for contractors. Okay. Well, first of all, the, the GP2400 is targeted to more of the half-width paving market, the smaller end of the, of the paving market, not a big full-width paver, but a, a more mobile, uh, maneuverable machine that, uh, that can handle some of the smaller jobs and some of the smaller paving work that's out there on, in, the, in the paving world today. It's, uh, it's a 174 horsepower engine, so it's 16 vibrator circuits maximum, 10 vibrators standard with the machine. Uh, it's got a 3100 series paving mold on board. The version that we're showing here at the World of Concrete show is a two-track version, but we're also working to produce a four-track version of the paver as well for those contractors that like to have a four-track version of a paver. Um, very simple open front mold, self-supported PTA, um, a very simple control console, operator's control console with the, uh, the new G Plus control system that is being introduced by Gomeco as well this year. Um, so it's a, it's a totally CAN-based control system, very robust, very uh, simple to operate is, one, is the main thrust for that. So it's a very easy thing for the contractor to get his operator to get used to, it's very intuitive. Um, otherwise, it's a pretty standard paver. Uh, sectional, we can pave up to widths of uh, 16 and a half foot with a standard machine, and with, by adding inserts, we can go up to 24 foot. I see. Well, it, I understand that Gameco's not had a half width uh, machine for a little while. Is there some development in the market uh, today that that sort of bringing you back into this business? Well, there's yeah, there's always the need for a more mobile, or, or there has been recently a need for more mobile, uh, smaller equipment out there for some of the tighter jobs that really don't lend themselves to the big mainline paving jobs that are out there today. I see. I see. And uh, th there's kind of an interesting comparison between the, the GP2400 and the GP2600, the four-track machine, uh, that uh, at least provided some context for me. Uh, uh, the, the two are, are similar in size, although the 2600 has uh, the capacity to go wider, correct? Right. The, the, the 2600 is, it can be either a two-track and a four-track machine also. Right. It's a bigger frame. Um, it goes to uh, 275 horsepower. So it's about 100 horsepower or more. It'll pave up to widths of 32 foot. Okay. And uh, there's several different mold options for that one as well. So it's just the 2600 would be more of a mid-size paver, mm -hmm. and the uh, the uh, 2400 is more of a, an entry-level, smaller size paver. Right. And, and the, the the 2600, as we know it in its four-track version, has some. Uh, real serious versatility uh, uh, advantages. Will the 2400 have the ability to, to uh, pave the more vertical kinds of with, with the more vertical kinds of molds that the yeah we'll be able to with the four track uh, 20 uh, 2400 we'll be able to also do uh, barrier walls and things like that as well canal molds. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll still be a very versatile paver, just a smaller smaller horsepower, smaller power plant in. Uh, a little bit smaller frame sections. I see. How, how soon do you expect that four-track machine to be available? It'll be, it'll be released in uh, 2011, so I'm guessing probably by the second quarter we'll have something available. I see. Second quarter of this year. I see. 